the thing about this is mabilis siyang kumalat. Oh my God, tumutulo na siya, tumutulo na siya. Lord! Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? And we are back with another skincare routine video. And as you can see, ibang-iba ang background natin ngayon, ang setup natin because we are live from Lisbon, Portugal. Live talaga, hindi. Kung napapanood nyo na tong video na to, it means siguro naka-uwi na ako. Pero ayun, medyo gets nyo naman siguro. Basta nandito ako sa Portugal ngayon. But anyway, actually, hindi ko plinano talagang gumawa ng video um, sa Portugal. I just wanted to take this time to rest. Pero... Ang ganda kasi talaga ng hotel room ko. As you can see, hindi ko talaga in-expect na ganito siya magiging parang sobrang spacious. And also, ang ganda ng ilaw na nanggagaling sa window. Wala akong kailangan parang daling mga ring lights or anything. So, eto na siya. Itong eto na siya. Just my iPhone camera and the light from Lisbon, Portugal na nagla-last until 9pm ng gabi. Nakakaloka yung sunlight nila dito guys. As in, may araw sila hanggang 9pm. So, imagine sobrang nakakaloka mag-reapply ng sunscreen dito. Siguro mga 4 to 5 times a day siguro sila. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video about the skincare na dinala ko sa trip na to to Portugal but also the skincare that I bought sa Portugal because as you guys know, Portugal is a European country and marami talagang iba't ibang magagandang skincare brands in Europe. Siyempre, mabilis lang ma-import yung mga French brands dito sa Portugal because malapit lang sila. So, uh, I'll show you guys uh, kung ano yung mga brands na binili ko, the brands I tested. Some of them I really liked. Some of them I actually did not like. I kind of regret buying some of them. So, um, I'm going to be talking to you about all of those things in this video. So again, this is what I brought and what I bought in Europe. Alright, so first, let's start with the cleanser. And yung dinala ko dito sa trip na to is actually this one na uh, very travel-friendly siya. It's this one, of course, from one of my favorite brands that we can buy in the Philippines. It's Oxycure. It's their Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. And I think this is relatively a new release compared to yung mga other products ni Oxycure. Actually, ito, nakita ko to originally sa Thai Thailand pa, hindi pa siya na-release sa Philippines. And then, bigla na lang pinadala ni Oxycure in the Philippines. So, yeah. What I'm liking about this is ang ganda ng size niya. Perfect na perfect for travel. And it's just really a straightforward, gentle cleanser that you can use in any situation. Kung irritated yung skin mo. And bumubula din siya. So, that's what I really like about this. Gentle cleansing agents, as you guys know. So, ito, hindi ko na siya gagamitin because ginamit ko na siya nung nasa shower ako kanina. I do have a bare face right now. And ready na ready na siya malagay ng skin care products. But before I do that, I'll be showing you the cleanser that I bought here in Portugal. So this one, I think, hindi pa siya available sa Philippines. And again, if you watch my IG stories, I have been saying na very curious ako about this brand. It's this one called SVR. It's their Sibia Clear um, Soap-Free Cleanser. So actually, wala talaga sa plan ako na bumili ng any type of cleanser dito sa Europe. Because parang cleanser lang naman siya. I don't really like to splurge on these products. But ito, napabili ako sa kanya because ay na nga mapapakwento na tayo during the second part of my trip when I went to Madeira Island which is an island off the coast of Portugal nawala ng airline yung bags ko. And obviously, nasa bags na yon yung mga skincare products ko. So, I was just left with the sunscreen na dinala ko sa hand carry ko. Pero guys, nakakalokang experience talaga yun kasi first time ever ko mawala ng bags talaga. As in, nandun ako nagaantay sa baggage drop and isa-isa silang yung mga kasama kong passengers sa flight to Madeira. As in, isa-isa na silang umaalis, kinukuha na nila yung mga bags nila, and ako nakatayo lang doon for almost, I don't know, an hour. Tapos, wala talaga. So, parang, alam mo yun, kinakabahan ka na unti-unti talaga. So, ayun, nakakaloka talaga siya, pero ako, um, as a sigurista, basically, um, before the trip, sabi ko, parang, ang dami ko na narinig mga horror stories about luggage sa Europe. So, I really took the extra steps to secure my baggage. Hindi ko lang sabi nila ng mga belts, ng mga covers, para hindi matanim bala. Tanim bala! But also, binilan ko sila ng air tags. And ultimately, that's what gave me the peace of mind talaga. As in, the entire trip, nakita ko na nasa Lisbon lang sila, nasa Lisbon Airport lang sila. So, um, kumbaga na-delayed lang yung baggage. Pero, um, 
hindi siya nawala or hindi siya ninaka or anything. So, that really gave me a peace of mind. Pero itong cleanser na to guys, ayun nga, I will always, always, you know, parang remember this cleanser already kasi may trauma bonding na kami ng cleanser na to. But anyway, I chose this cleanser sa pharmacy nila not only because travel size siya uh, and also not only because curious ako sa SBR but also when I check the ingredients of this gentle lang yung cleansing agents niya. It has disodium laureth sulfosusinate, cocobitane, peg 7 glycerol cocoate, sodium laureth sulfate. So, okay na okay na mga gentle cleansing agents and very foaming din sila. And I actually really, really like this cleanser because it really didn't have much of a difference dito sa Oxycure na binili ko. So, perfect na perfect siyang parang replacement since ito nga, nawawala sa Lisbon Airport. But yeah, it's just a regular gel cleanser that's still very foaming on the skin and it easily washes off. Ang difference nga lang nito is may konting fragrance siya but it doesn't really linger on the skin and in fact, I kind of like the smell. But anyway, let's move on to the next part of our routine. And ito, mag a na ako ng mga products on my face. Uh, let's start with, of course, our treatment. So actually ako guys, in my vacation trips, I really just bring a very straightforward skincare routine. After ko mag-cleanser, didiretsyo na ako agad to my acne medications. And as you guys know, ang lagi kong ginagamit na acne medications in the morning is benzoyl peroxide. And I brought this one, itong travel size nila. It's their Benzac Spots treatment. 5%. Actually, 2.5% lang yung ginagamit ko, pero wala akong mahanap na 2.5% na ganito kaliit. So, I just got the 5% instead. Tapos, kukontihan ko na lang yung paglagay. This is one out of the two acne medications that I brought to this trip. Of course, the other one being tretinoin. Pero ang tretinoin, syempre, ginagamit natin siya at night. Now, actually, a lot of people ask kung dapat ba silang, or dapat ba nilang ituloy yung acne medications nila um, during their vacation trips. Lalo na kung summer vacation trips siya. And what I always say is, of course, ask your derm. But generally, lahat ng mga derms na natanong ko, they do say just to continue using it. But what's important is, magdadala ka lagi ng sunscreen because sun protection, obviously, kahit hindi ka nag acne medications, very important siya. Pero it's even more important when you are using these products. Kasi nga, di ba, um, these can irritate your skin and, you know, exposing yourself to the sun can irritate your skin even more. So, alam mo yun. And of course, if you have acne marks, syempre, damage din ng sun yung mga acne marks mo. And some of these acne medications, like retinoin, nakakatulong talaga sila um, when it comes to, you know, fading these dark marks. So, kung hindi ko sunscreen sayang lang din, di ba? So, ganyan lang siya. Very simple. And, mukhang na-apply na natin siya. Actually, wala akong mirror ngayon, guys. So, sorry kung meron pang natitirang mga spots of skincare products sa face ko. But anyway, that's the skincare that I brought to this trip. But the skincare naman that I bought in this trip is actually um, yung isa, binili ko siya again out of necessity because uh, ayun nga, nawala ang aking uh, mga luggage and nandun yung mga acne medications ko, specifically my tretinoin. But also, there was another product that I bought na interested lang talaga akong itry siya. So first, just to share with you guys the acne medication that I got habang nawawala yung mga skincare ko sa Ibang airport. Um, this one is uh, called Ketrel, and it's basically a 0.5% retinoin cream. Actually, nakalagay dito 0.5 milligrams per gram, but I think this is equivalent to 0.05% retinoin. So this one, it obviously saved my life because ito lang yung acne medication na meron ko nung nawawala lahat ng ibang mga skincare ko, even the benzoyl peroxide. Actually, I tried checking for this sa mga pharmacy, pero ang meron lang nila is the 10%. And guys, OA na yun, as in, spot treatment lang yun at most. So, um, sabi ko, okay, mas important for me yung tretinoin kasi kailangan talaga consistent ako doon. So, I got this one instead. Kahit na lower percentage siya, I usually use 0.1% tretinoin. Actually, nasa na ba yung 0.1%? Naiwan ko ata siya doon sa luggage ko and tinatamad na akong tumayo para kunin siya. So, you'll just have to take my word for it. 0.1% yung dinala ko but this one that I was using is 0.05%. And nakakatuwa guys, I just wanna share to you for 30 grams of cream ha, ito, sa kanila, 300 pesos lang. Ito, kahit pumunta ka sa 2, 3, 4 pharmacies, as in, binisita ko talaga sila kasi every time pumunta ako sa bagong parang neighborhood sa Lisbon, nag-check talaga ako for, you know, mga skincare na meron nila. And nagtatanong din ako kung meron silang tretinoid. Meron sila lagi. That's how accessible tretinoin is in this country. And nakakaingit siya, honestly. So for those who are acne prone na pupunta sa Europe, kung nakalimutan niya acne medications niyo, don't worry because meron sa mga pharmacies nila. And obviously, since may araw pa, hindi ko na to gagamitin in my routine na mamayang gabi pa to. But I also want to show you guys this other treatment or serum that I brought. 
I sorry, I bought. So I bought this in one of their pharmacies and again it's from the brand na sobrang curious na curious ako and sobrang mako curious or maging interested in kayo when you see uh, yung mga active ingredients of this serum. This is from, again, SVR. And this is their Ampule Flash Sebia Clear. And it has 15% azelaic acid and niacinamide and zinc and salicylic acid. Makakaloka, di ba? So again, sa Pilipinas, yung 15% azelaic acid, 15 to 20% is actually, kakailanganin mo pa ng reseta from a dermatologist to be able to actually get it. But in other countries, actually sa Australia, sa Euro, yung 15% azelaic acid, you can get it over the counter in products like these. And this one, sobrang naging interested talaga ako because it has all the ingredients that I really, really love for my oily skin na nagkakadark marks. So that's why kinuha ko siya. And actually, I was planning to bring azelaic acid in this strip Pero yun nga, nakalimutan ko siya. Pero sabi ko, sige na nga, pagbalik ko na lang, uh, doon na lang ako gagamit ng azelaic acid ulit. Pero nung nakita ko to, sabi ko, hmm, I think sign to ni Lord na sinasabi niya sa akin, hindi mag-azelaic acid ka. Sure. Dinamay pa si Lord. But anyway, maglalagay din ako ng product na to on my face. And this one actually, you'll notice, it's kind of a serum na medyo may pagka-creamy or parang lotion-y yung texture niya as you can see and you only need just maybe like half a drop to one drop and then pwede mo na siyang spread on your face and again i'm doing the 13 dot technique 9 10 11 12 13 but anyway let's now spread this on our face and one thing to know about this though i guess Ito na yung pinaka-con niya about this product. Um, it is alcohol-based. And this one actually also does have fragrance. So, kung sensitive yung skin mo, I don't think this is going to be um, helpful for you. Or I don't think na suitable siya for you. But ako, since medyo resilient naman yung skin ko recently, kinakaya naman siya ng skin ko, I haven't been feeling irritation in the past few days. And I think, Almost a week ko na to ginagamit. So yeah, and what's nice, since alcohol-based siya, it also absorbs very easily onto the skin. Sa mga resellers dyan, ng mga La Roche Posay, ng mga user and other products, maybe you would want to consider bringing SVR to the Philippines. Kasi talaga, ang ganda-ganda ng mga products nila so far, kasi nasa level talaga ng La Roche Posay, user it, and the other, you know, European brands. And of course, dahil nga meron na rin akong trauma bonding sa kanila. Sure. But anyway, now that we're done with our treatments, let me just put them aside as we move to our next step which is one that you cannot cannot forget as in sobrang important talaga to lalong lalo na summer at sobrang lakas talaga as in tirik na tirik na tirik ang araw dito sa Portugal for long long hours and of course that means you're gonna need sunscreen so as you can see and dami dami ko talagang dinalang sunscreens in this trip actually hindi pa to silang lahat Pero ito talaga yung mga sunscreens na mostly ginagamit ko. Yung top 3 siguro na sunscreens na ginamit ko in this trip. So let's start first with the sunscreens that I brought in this trip. Meron akong dinalang isang Asian and isang European. And these are the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Essence and the La Roche-Posay Antilios UV Moon 400. So ito yung pinaka-popular na popular talaga. And sabi ko, tingnan natin kung bakit gustong gusto to ng Europe. Let's put it to the test. Baka naman siguro sa Europe. European weather, perfect na perfect to. And true enough guys, in fairness, palaban talaga siya in European weather, especially sa summertime nila. This proved to be very, very lightweight on the skin. And to si Skin Aqua, I actually really like this one as well, pero mas naging body sunscreen ko to because sa face, parang na-notice ko kapag lumalabas ako, medyo parang nasa-stuck yung pawis ko sa face. I don't know if that's because of yung parang waterproofing or water-resistant technology na meron niya, but yeah, I just really like this one more sa trip na to. And actually guys, I also wanted to include another sunscreen pala. Nakalimutan kong um, i-include siya. This one is a sunscreen that I actually bought in Thailand and this one also proved to be a really nice sunscreen na dinala ko. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Paris UV Defender Matte and Fresh. So masabi ko pala, since nakalimutan ko to, this might be the best one kasi okay na okay talaga siya. It's built for hot and humid climates and it really really works well with makeup. Up, or if maglalagay ka pa ng tinted sunscreen sa taas, which I will be doing in a while. Second place goes to this one by La Roche-Posay. And third place si Skin Aqua. Kung gusto mo lang talaga ng face and body na sunscreen, this would be a decent option for that. So anyway, papakita ko sa inyo lahat ng textures nila so we can compare and contrast and contrast. So let's start with this one first, the L'Oreal UV Defender. I think you guys are really going to like this. 
Um, hindi ko pa siya masyadong nare-recommend sa channel ko doon kasi hindi pa siya available. Ewan ko sa L'Oreal kung bakit hindi pa nila ito ginagawang available. This is perfect for our climate in the Philippines. And probably, siguro they really love this in Thailand kasi doon ko siya binili. This one blends onto your skin very, very fast and it turns clear almost instantly. Hindi na sobrang instant pero parang eh no, clear na siya agad. And I really like this one kasi sobrang lightweight lang talaga yung feel niya sa skin. It is alcohol-based but okay na okay yung texture talaga niya if hindi ka naman masyadong sensitive sa alcohol. Um, again, I don't really mind kung hindi naman may irritate yung skin ko. So that's number one. And number two, of course, second place, itong kailangang shake na La Roche Posay. And this one, I'm actually going to be putting it on my face. Ito yung i-apply natin today. Um, lalagay lang tayo na two finger lengths of this product. The thing about this is, mabilis siyang kumalat. Oh my God, tumutulo na siya. Tumutulo na siya. Lord! So, dadalian lang natin. Tatap lang tayo on the different parts of my face. Again, wala akong mirror. So, sana makuha ko lahat ng mga spots ng face ko. <laughs> Mahirapan tayo dito sa Portugal. Hindi kasi tayo nagdala ng equipment. Hindi ko kasi talaga, guys, inexpect na ang ganda talaga ng hotel room. As in, yung iba ko kasi yung mga hotel rooms na nag, kung saan ako nag-stay, either hindi maganda yung ilaw or yung, alam mo yun, parang medyo maliit yung space. Kasi nga, the first few days of this trip, nag-stay ako sa hostel because I wanted to kind of like meet new people, di ba? Kasi syempre, pag solo travel ka, para masaya to meet new people, to get out of your comfort zone. Ayan. So as you can see, ang bilis lang din talaga mag-absorb ng sunscreen na to on my face. And again, this one also acts as a really, really good primer kasi meron siyang parang a silicone-y, uh, velvety soft na feel on your face, which means, um, well, pag ganun kasi yung texture ng sunscreen, maganda yung lagi talaga na um, skin tint or any makeup that you want to put on your face. And syempre, kailangan magpa-fresh tayo sa Europe, di ba? So, maglalagay tayo in a bit. But anyway, now na nag-apply na tayo on our face, I also just want to show you the texture of the skin aqua. Sunplay UV Super Moisture Essence on the body. Ito guys, never ever ever forget na maglagay ng sunscreen sa arms. And kung magsasando man kayo like me sa loob, dito ang area na to. The first few days talaga, namumula na yung dito ko. Sabi ko, hala ba't siya namumula? Hindi ko pala nalagay ng sunscreen. Kasi sanay akong nakakrew neck na t-shirt, di ba? Basically, hindi ako sanay na may cleavage. May cleavage! Shut up lang! But anyway, do not, do not ever forget. Kasi ang harsh talaga, especially in the summer ha, ang harsh, harsh talaga ng araw nila dito. Siguro ang plus side lang is, hindi as malagkit yung weather nila compared sa Pilipinas. Kasi hindi sobrang humid dito. Pero medyo din, medyo. Hindi ka lang sobrang maliligo talaga sa pawis. Pero may konting pawis pa rin. But anyway, what I like about this sa body is it really, really not only just absorbs fast, but also parang fresh lang yung feeling niya throughout the day. I don't really feel like I put sunscreen. And habang naglalakad ako, especially since ang dami, 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 daming hagdanan and yung mga hills na paakyat dito sa Lisbon. Ayaw mo na masyadong isipin, di ba? Na, so, hala, ang bigat ng sunscreen ko sa katawan, ganon. Ano na lang, focus na lang tayo doon sa exercise na nakukuha natin sa paglakad ng hagdanan and ng hills ng 1,000 times a day. Tiyar, parang lahat talaga ng establishment dito merong hagdanan. Ewan ko na talaga. Sure. But anyway, also do not forget to put on your legs. Uh, mamaya ko nalalagyan para hindi masyadong tumagal yung video na to. And now let's move on to the sunscreens that I bought in this trip. And instead of yung top one ko na lang, I'll also show yung second place ko that I actually kind of like as well. So it's these two. We have this one from Userin. It's their Hydro Protect. Um, ultra light fluid and also this one from Nux Sun Light Sun Fluid. So basically, ito, this is kind of like a hydrating ultra light na fluid and this one is parang ginagaya niya to. So medyo ganun siya but this one talaga kay user in itong Hydro Protect nila. I really, really, really like the texture of this on my skin at first. So cream siya on the skin at first but when you blend it, it instantly, well, hindi naman instantly but almost instantly blends onto your skin and 
it really gives you that parang very lightweight gel type feeling. As in, parang naglagay ka lang talaga ng gel type moisturizer and there's just that very light burst of hydration onto your skin. So this one, I really, really recommend for those who just don't want that heavy feeling of sunscreen on their skin and also just want or also just have basically a skincare routine na straightforward. Like for example, cleanser, acne medication, sunscreen, and then yun na. But one con na nakita ko sa product na to guys, if you like to use uh, a lot of different skincare products before your sunscreen, like for example, meron kang hydrating toner, meron ka pang mga serums, this one might pill with those products. And for those who don't know what pilling is, basically yung kapag nirub mo siya on your skin, may mga lumalabas na konting bits or parang mga libag-libag. Libag-libag talaga. Yun yung pilling sa skin. And it's normal. Actually, sakit siya ng mga products na ultra light talaga because yung mga ingredients that they put that help make it you know silky, smooth, velvety and lightweight, yun talaga yung minsan nag interact sa ibang mga you know products ng mga or ingredients rather ng mga serums and other skincare products. So again, best if meron ka lang minimal na skincare routine para wala siya masyado mga ingredients na nakaka-interact with. But aside from that, all in all, this one highly highly recommend for those na minimalist sa skincare routine nila. And last Say we have this one kay Knox, and again, this is just like La Roche Posay. Um, and difference lang niya is medyo mas malakas yung scent niya, but I didn't really find that much of a difference. Maybe this one is a bit creamier and less, alam niyo, yung milky and kumakalat compared to La Roche Posay. This is also water resistant, parang yung La Roche Posay. So, this one actually dinamit ko lang siya noong nag beach ako because again, it is water resistant. And okay naman siya. Wasn't heavy on my skin. There was really no white cast. And actually, nung nag-beach ako, I think I also used this on my face. Wala naman ako masyado na encounter na problems. And yung mga pictures ko, okay naman. Hindi naman siya sobrang shiny or greasy. So, this one is kind of nice too. And now, we want to the final step of this routine. And this one, of course, para fresh na fresh tayo sa Europe. Pwede tayo mag-attract ng mga... Huy! Char lang! Char lang! Walang ganon. Para lang fresh sa Europe. <laughs> but anyway, we move on to our makeup and skincare hybrid products. So, we have here yung skincare na dinala ko and yung skincare na binili ko. So, first, let's start with... Actually, start muna tayo with the skincare na binili ko. And I'm starting with this one, guys, because this one, I was actually quite disappointed with it. This is the Eucerin Pigment Control Tinted Sun Gel Cream. Ang promising talaga ng pangalan niya because of course I love gel cream, I love tinted, I love pigment control and I love eucerin. Parang sobrang excited lang talaga akong gamitin talaga siya pero this one when I used it on the skin unfortunately it was not a good experience. Ito guys, parang ang bagal niyang magblend sa skin and parang nagkakalat muna siya before um before talaga siyang umayos. Nagkakalat before umayos. Parang ano na yun? Parang skincare pa ba yun, Char? But this one, ayun nga, parang nahihirapan akong i-blend siya on the skin. If maybe you have the patience to blend sunscreen on your skin for quite a while, it might be okay. Pero ito talaga, guys, wala akong patience. Lalo nagmamadali ako talaga lagi. But anyway, yan. Hindi ko ito masyado nagustuhan. I am still open to trying out the non-tinted version of this, though. Baka mas okay. Pero at this point, ang dami ko na lang nabili na sunscreen. So, tingnan natin. May mga user and products naman na available sa Pilipinas. And actually, nanotice ko rin pala. Nakalimutan kong sabihin. Ang dami sa mga products na to, yung price point nila. Kasi diba you would think sa Europe, mas mura sila. Actually, hindi ganun kalaki yung difference. Like, it's just cheaper here by a few hundreds. Like, for example, kung 1314 sa Pilipinas, dito siguro mga 11. Yeah, it's cheaper, pero kung nasa ganun budget level ka na lang din, parang, I mean, nakapag-afford ka naman ng Europe trip. So, alam mo yun, kung nawala ka ng product and you need to pay a few hundred pesos, kung nasa ganun budget level ka naman, parang, Feeling ko ah, feeling ko lang, you wouldn't mind paying a few hundreds more. Pero yun nga, kung nagtitipid ka, well, I guess, masusulit mo talaga yung mga products dito. But anyway, nung kay user yun, this one is sadly a no for me. So what I used instead this entire trip is the one and the only, my favorite makeup brand in the Philippines. Well, grabe naman yung my favorite makeup brand. One of my favorite makeup brands in the Philippines this is of course, is Yen Co. It's their active skin tint. And ito talaga, nilalagay ko siya lagi on top of my sunscreen. Just as a skin tint para fresh na fresh tayo. 
you guys have seen me already put this product sa makeup and skincare routine na video ko. Basically, it's the same thing. And by the way, yung shade ko pala is Fawn. Forgot to mention that. So, ito, nakawala na naman tayong mirror. Paano ko, paano ko ito i-blend sa face talaga mga sis? So, I just put it on the parts of my face na, you know, kailangan ni even out yung skin texture. And actually, guys, again, hindi ako sobrang heavy makeup user. Um, ito na yung pinaka-makeup ko talaga. Also because, admittedly, since makeup is an art, it is, you know, something that, you know, takes time para talaga ma-achieve mo ang perfect look. So, ako talaga, again, wala ako masyadong time. So, I just need a quick and easy makeup routine that will make me fresh. And diba, remember, dun, sabi ko dun sa video ko, about, you know, makeup and skincare na if you need just the bare minimum, you should really invest in a good skin tint and concealer. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. As in, kapit lang talaga ako sa skin tint and sa concealer sa trip na to. Um, I think may dadala akong blush, but I ended up not using it. Yeah, actually, hindi ko na ata nagamit yung blush sa trip na yun. I think I brought either yung Clush Flame na um, all-around flush. That one's really nice. And also, um, yung Ally Cheek Tint. Tapos in the color peach siya. So that's what I usually put. Dito ko nilalagay. And then, um, dito. And sometimes dito din. So, yeah. It gives off a really, really nice sun-kissed effect. Pero dito, guys, mamomomol ka na talaga ng araw eh. So, baka hindi na kailangan, di ba? <laughs> sure. But anyway, guys, I'm just gonna keep blending this on my face. Tingnan lang natin sa camera kung okay ba siya. Aayusin ko na lang mamaya kapag... Um, natapos ko na itong routine na ito. Alright, so na-blend na natin ang ating skin tint and this is the very, very last step that I put. Of course, we do concealer. Actually, hindi ko alam kung paano ako magsusurvive putting this on my face. Kumakapit lang talaga ako sa sobrang liit na reflection ng phone camera ko. But anyway, this is the Isian Co. Active Concealer in the shade PL2 and this is yung peach toned. And again, if we have similar skin colors, medyo light yung skin tone mo. This does act as a good color corrector for yung mga dark areas of your face, which is um, sa akin, as you can see, medyo dark talaga ang under eyes ko because of my genetics. Bagong shave ako ngayon, pero kapag meron akong konting, um, you know, 5 o'clock shadow from um, my shaving routine or medyo nag-grow na yung uh, bigote ko, or mustache pala. Galagay din ako ng konti dito para lang ma-cover siya. And I blend it a bit with this part of my nose para yung redness mawala din ng konti. This one I actually also use kapag meron akong mga pimple marks. Meron akong mga ano. I think I have one here and here. Pero hindi ko na siya makikita ngayon guys. So I'm just gonna do a general um, concealer application. But anyway, yun siya guys. That is it for my skincare routine that I brought and bought in Portugal. Actually, marami pa akong ibang mga skincare products na binili, pero hindi siya masyadong you know, as important or as interesting as you guys might think. So, if you want me to talk about more of these products, do let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know on my IG, on my TikTok, if you also want to see those products in my content there. And I hope this was helpful to you guys sa mga planong pumunta sa Europe dyan or sa mga dreaming pumunta sa Europe. I hope some of these recommendations were helpful sa next trip ninyo abroad. And always, always remember, ang tip ko lang talaga, ilagay niyo yung skincare routine niyo sa hand carry ninyo in travel sizes less than 100 ml para kapag nawala ng airlines yung bag ninyo, hindi kayo maluloka. <laughs> and also, buy air tags. Buy air tags as in lifesaver peace of mind giver all around diva. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video and for those na nanonood sa IG stories ko ng mga videos ko, I just want to give a special thank you for being with me sa trip ko. It was really, really fun. It was my first ever solo trip. Kaya, uh, it means a lot that you guys were kind of like there with me and na share ko sa inyo yung mga kwento-kwento ko. If you want to watch any more of my videos, I will be linking some of them here. And as usual guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.